it's refreshing to see the savage level. Oh my god, like, yo, like, yo, like, whoa, 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 yo, like, Horikoshi, that, that's a savage. I had this video about how properly remake a series where I pointed out it's not an improvement as much as it is an update. You are taking something and you bring it up to date with improved visuals, better pacing and, hopefully, more fleshed out characters and themes. In any case, this does not make the new version more mature than the old, it's just updated. I am surprised Horikoshi makes it so good. Caught me by surprise. Oh. My god, Horikoshi, um, you caught me by surprise, you, you caught me, like that, that was something I did not expect. So imagine the snob inside me boiling from anger when I found this video where an idiot was saying Pokemon became more mature in Sun and Moon by being completely different from any previous season. I had a video about this when the details were announced before its release, and how everyone didn't like the new art style, or the inclusion of schools instead of traveling around the world. Blew me away. Hortikoshi, this is why I respect your writing, this is why I love My Hero Academia, because what you have been doing with blowing my mind. By definition alone, for something to become something else, you need to have some form of continuity, which Pokemon does not have. Ash Ketchum didn't age a day in 20 years, and there is no actual continuity amongst seasons or even most episodes within the same season. A good extension to the Icarus symbolism. Maybe it's not symbolic for maybe Hawks would lose his wings, but maybe he just might lose his ideals. Maybe instead of him wanting to have, you know, a lifestyle where all heroes can relax, and he might just want to just destroy the hero society. What happened to Pokemon Sun and Moon is not maturity. It's not even an update, since it didn't try to improve earlier material. What it actually did was taking a new direction, because it's now appealing to a new audience. The late 90s millennial generation is gone, and so is action adventure. Now it's all about the Generation Z and lol random comedies with little to no action adventure. So no, you idiot! Pokemon did not become more mature by getting rid of action, adventure, gyms, and everything that was giving the show its identity. It mutated into something that calls itself something it no longer is. It doesn't even look the same. Horikoshi, the way he handled that moment in the chapter, it's stunning. It really is. It's impressive storytelling. The classic Pokemon series is about the Team Rocket trying to capture Pikachu, not selling donuts in a completely tensionless school environment. So stop trying to oversell this completely alien mutation as some sort of thought-provoking deconstruction. You are nothing but a dick writer of a show aimed at children with a fraction of your age. You ain't any better than your run-of-the-mill shonen tard who calls everything a subversion for the sake of excusing any change of any kind as amazing when it's not. Typically in a shonen, you have it to where a main female character turns out to be a damsel in distress. I love how that cliche did not happen, so just great overall, amazing scene. Ochiko was trapped under rubble, couldn't even move. She is, you know, needing to be saved by the main characters of the story. Which is when I started to really gain a lot of respect for Horikoshi as a writer, because he always flipped, like, cliches on its head. He always spun them around and made you think about, like, wait a minute, he's doing a twist to every single cliche. Izuku, he was showing that he was a hero. That entire scene was kind of like a fake-out from Horikoshi Sensei, trying to say like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, she's not a damsel in distress, she's very strong. I've gotten a little bit of fills going on building up inside of my chest. Izuku's qualification to be a hero. The narration 